One of the ways that you can record additional information against your records and SAGE accounts is to use the analysis fields. They're available in a number of different areas including customers, suppliers, products and projects. They're a great way to analyse your records. For example, you might record the sales rep against each particular customer, the sales region, where they're based, or maybe even the customer type, for example, trade or retail. Let's concentrate on customers for the purpose of this demonstration. In the customer record, the defaults tab, you've got three boxes in the top left corner. By default, these are called analysis one, two and three, but can be renamed once you've decided on a use for them. Supposing you do want to use them for, say, customer type, sales rep and region, you can go into settings. So we'll just close out of this. We'll close customers. Go into settings. Configuration. And then it's the custom fields tab at the top. On this tab, you'll see information for both the analysis fields and the email addresses for both customer records, supplier records. And there's also the title for the department field as well. But we're going to concentrate on the analysis field for customer records. So you can enter up to 10 characters in each of these boxes, so whatever you want to give that description. So in this case, we'll just concentrate on analysis one for the purpose of the demo, and we're going to call this cust type. So we're going to use it for like uh, analyzing our customers either as trade or retail, for example. We might have other ones, online customers, etc. So once we've popped in our description, click apply, click close, that's us back to the desktop. If we now go back into the customer record, uh, so back into customers, we'll choose this, the first one on the list there, into the record, defaults tab, and you can now see it's changed that description next to the box. So it just really helps as a, a bit of a reminder to make sure that we we enter the right information in the right box. Rather than us having to remember right in, in box one, we type the customer type, then the region, the sales rep, etc. Also means if other people are using the software as well, again, it ensures that consistency. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to type trade in that box. Obviously we could use these boxes for whatever we want and type Again, type whatever we want in those boxes as well. So we'll just save that one. And close. And that's it done. Now, we could use just use the information that we've entered for reference purposes only. But it can be used to help your analysis and your reporting. For instance, if you go to search at the bottom. And then we'll just quickly build a search. So we'll say where. And in the field. We want to choose the title for analysis one, which is customer type. Now it does pick up the uh, the headings that we've entered. So we've still got analysis two and three named with the, the default headings, but we're looking for customer type. Now we could scroll down or we could start typing, say C, and it would drop us down the list there. We'll just quickly scroll down. So there's customer type. In the condition column, I'll choose is equal to, and then in the value, I'll just type in the text trade. So what we're trying to look for is all customers that have trade in that box. We could work the other way and we'll say where customer type is not equal to trade or whatever else we're using it for. But we're looking for all customers where the analysis one field, the customer type field, has trade in that box. So if you then click apply and then click close You'll see as well as the one I've already just entered trade for when in the demonstration, we've got a few others as well. If we just click into one of them, let's click on this one as an example. Have a look at the defaults tab. You'll see we've got trade already in there. So we'll just discard that back to the desktop. Obviously, once we've got the search applied, you can then run reports based on the records that are listed. So using the analysis fields in conjunction with the search option is a great way of narrowing down the information that gets included on your reports. Just remember to switch off the search if you are going to use it. Just this little finder icon on the top. Just click it. It should then see all records and we're back to the full default list.